Wednesday morning. Absolutely amazing sunrise. I'm going to go and show you. That's just putting some wood chip to the boiler. Look at that. Mint. Just come to the bottom of the yard now to get a picture without the mess of the trees in the way. The tree pile, sorry. It's amazing. Yeah, you know, my car, the windscreen hopefully is defrosted now. Because there's a few of us now going to go on a health and safety course up the road that the NFU have organised. So it's about a 40 minute drive away, so we're going to get there for nine o'clock hopefully, or just before. Heated windscreens are the best. Myers and College here as well. Oh look, Andrew's got his UTV lights hat on. They've just put 600 quid on the um, Christmas tractor run to make it up to 75 grand, so thank you for that. At the health and safety thing now, outside, it's freezing, got my hat on. With the Tilly Pass trailer stand, which is in conjunction with Cornflakes Agricultural, which are the John Deere dealerships. Anyway, they now are doing these. It's, it's basically, in summary, an MOT for your trailers, but it checks all these different things, which is very important because you don't want a wheel falling off your trailer or the brakes failing and killing someone. But the other thing that they've done is they've developed an app, which I'm going to show you the QR code there now because I've already got a picture of it. I was going to show you on the trailer, but there's people stood in the way, everyone's scanning it. And it's a checklist of what to do to your trailers to make sure that they're roadworthy. But also it's got videos on there how to do it from most major trailer manufacturers and also links to the handbooks for the trailers as well. So have a go at downloading that app and see how you get on. If you want to ring up Cornthwaite or the other people that do the Tilly trailer passes and get all them things checked, do it. Or if not, do it yourself by using the app. Yeah, so Jane from Tilly Pass sadly lost her son in 2014 from a defective trailer braking system. So that's why she started up. The first year they started Tilly Pass, they wanted to get 100 trailers done and ended up doing 1,000 in six months. So really good initiative. Don't forget, scan that QR code. Single axle trailer or close to double axle trailer. So that, for, for most farmers, now, that removes quite a big chunk of, of what a 16 year old is able to do. This is today's quiz question. What are they? If you think you know, leave a comment below. Just calling it Malpas Tractors on the way home to get a mirror bracket for the other Merlot. Anyway, they've got a 27 six in stock, just like our baby Merlot. I know Charlotte's after one and it's got different stickers on. It's got newer stickers, like gray stickers. Wonder is there a deal to be done on swapping it? snow and they've got they've got one over here with cab suspension this is the same as ours 3810 and it's got under there you can't really see but the cab's suspended so when you go over bumps it doesn't sort of bounce a bit there you, go. you see the rod there to keep it central not many telly on have cab suspension it's got a richard western trailer as well same as bill and joe's in the gunmetal gray and they've actually got some an 18 tonner, same as ours, rollover sheet. Just back from the health and safety course, really good course actually, uh, because it wasn't deaf by PowerPoint and we looked at different, we, there's like six different things going on and you move around every 15 minutes or every 20 minutes, it's all different things. We did it about telehandlers, we did it about um, road safety trailers, everything like that, and road traffic law and stuff, so really good. Anyway, just going to leave the offices now because there's a hot tap stuck on cold. But, so what's going on with that shed update if it isn't too frosty tomorrow it's supposed to be three degrees and rising all morning i'm going to concrete the rest of this floor don't know whether i showed you now but we've got the nets up doing the roof so hopefully a dry day not frosty not not raining obviously and um, we'll get the roof on and then it's time then to make a footing like a bench around the outside to pour it so that with the straw bales we've got something to come off. Oh, that was a pheasant. Fell in the pond. Yeah, and then the straw bales will come up then and then that's when we render it and then we can start putting some windows in or deciding where the windows are gonna go. The underfloor heating pipes are already in up there as well. 
and then we've obviously got to put a set of staircase up won't be as good as the staircase that the environment ac have put over there because that looked a very expensive staircase so we'll either buy a wooden one put that in or we'll, we'll try and make one maybe right we're going to quickly do the birthday bumper which is now twenty one thousand one hundred and thirty eight pound absolutely amazing anyway sid can't pronounce your second name sorry sturgis maybe it's four sarah alp laura burst is 37 i have no idea how to pronounce that uh, but your O'Sullivan, but your 29 plus 12. Paul Whittingham's 50. Paul Pinchcomb is 53. Mark Clifford is 6. Jason Jackson is 50. Ross Sparks is 36. Marky B, Monta Gilbert, and Rob Yardley, who made that works at Velcro, is his birthday as well today. Happy birthday, everyone on there, and anyone else whose birthday it is today. £23,138, absolutely amazing amount for the air ambulance. Hopefully, we will we'll get the air ambulance to come back dressed up as a dog to do the day when we hit 25,000 maybe but also I just need to thank I did before a little bit briefly mentioned about UTV Lights Bennett UTV Lights he saw that we were just about 600 quid short of raising 75,000 for the track to run so he put the 600 pound on last night and um, made it up to 75,000 so that's fantastic so don't forget if you want some lights check out Ben shameless plug because he deserves it it's going dark and we've noticed a glow coming out of the chipper which suggests that the ignition might have been left on and we've not been using it today, so I reckon the battery could possibly be flat tomorrow when we go to use it. Is it on? Yeah. Oh! I'm nah, trying to nick the chocolate. No. Don't knock that cup over. Ivan. He's obedient, isn't he? He's all legs. Looks like he's drunk. <laughs> Hey, get out of that, you burn your nose. Remember the pedal tractor we had on eBay? Well, it was bought, I think it was about 250, 300 quid. Anyway, someone's bought it, but they don't actually need it. So they're going to donate it to Alder Hay Children's Hospital. So I think they're going to come up in a few weeks, collect it and then take it up there. So that's really good because that's gone towards the tractor run. Like I say, over 75,000 hours raised, which is absolutely amazing. Yesterday, I mentioned about the question time thing at Harper Adams College on the 2nd of February. I forgot to put the link underneath. I did later on, but if you want to check it out now, I think you can apply to be in the audience. So I think Mark Spencer, the MP, is going to be there as well. There's four of us on the on the like the panel. I think it's the first one they've done. Johan Tasker from Farmers Weekly is hosting it. There's a bit of a thing here about who else is on there. Hopefully, if it's displayed up there now. But yeah, if you want to be involved, follow the link below and get in touch. Farmers Weekly said could have mentioned it for them, so there you go. I have done. Right, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, quickly, so the holiday cottage that we were sort of auctioning off yesterday in the comments, we think we had a bit of 300 was the highest bid. We did think we seen one of 325, but we can't find it now. So if anyone wants to get in touch, if we've got any advance on 300, but I say maybe by tomorrow night, we'll just announce who, who was the highest bidder because can't really leave it to it going too long because we really want to get that total totted up. But yeah, um, thanks for whoever bidded. And if you've got any advance on 300, let us know in the comments today. If you look into yesterday's video, the link should be below as well to where it's at. So thanks for that anyway. Anyway, that is the end. Another Joe Seals ending. Two endings in one. See you tomorrow.